Now to obstetric fistula. It is a serious health issue in parts of Africa. It results from prolonged labor during childbirth. Women who suffer from it are unable to control their bladder or bowels and often become outcasts in their communities. Khalil Gay has more on a doctor in Ivory Coast who takes his fistula patients all the way from treatment to social reintegration. This dance symbolizes the end of the plight for 35 women just cured from fistula. After they are done singing and dancing, the women go through the door that will really take them back to normal life. To show their pride and readiness to reintegrate into their communities, they also participate in the final stage of this fistula treatment program, a fashion show. The ceremony is a ritual set up by Dr. Kwame Bile at the Hospital of Mont in the West African nation of Côte d'Ivoire. He is one of the country's strongest pillars in the fight against fistula. He has treated hundreds of women. You see, when they have fistula, they cannot participate in public events. They cannot join dance parties at the village. As soon as they come out, urine flows and the order makes people move away from them. They are excluded from everything that brings social cohesion. Now that they are cured, they dance because now they can go out in the public. Nadej Gayi came to Mont from her village of Zwan Hunyon to get treatment for obstetric fistula, one of the most serious injuries resulting from prolonged labor in poorly health-equipped African areas. In many African communities, fistula is considered humiliating, and women are left to suffer by themselves and are most often shunned by their communities. When my fistula appeared, everybody in the village rejected me. My husband disappeared and even my parents did not want to help me. I suffered for seven years. When I finally was brought here in Mans by my uncle for treatment, I saw several women undergo successful operations and leave totally cured. I am being treated here and I'm sure I will be cured too. The United Nations Population Fund leads the global fight against fistula. Yahya Khan helps to coordinate the fund's campaign to end fistula. Our strategy is multi-sectoral, integrated. It goes from the institutional upgrading and equipment of facilities, training of professionals, but, and most importantly also, we try to work with the communities. Nadej Gayi is happy and eager to go back to her community. Her doctors say she is cured. <coughs> and she is thankful. But she says she will miss the joyful and dancing Dr. Bile. Such an inspiring story, Khalil. Thank you so much for this interesting report. Now, first of all, when you were there uh, working on this story, did you have a sense that this was a very common problem in the, the area? What did you see? Yes, it is a very common problem issue in, the, in, uh, in Africa in general. You know, I've traveled extensively in Africa covering health issues, especially fistula, maternal health. And uh, I've seen the same issue in uh, Chad, Guinea-Bissau, Equatorial Guinea, Ivory Coast, Senegal, I've been all over and, and I've seen this, it's the same plight women are living in, in, in Africa. In and general. it's the same plight they are living. Now tell us, when you were talking to these women, what did they tell you in terms of uh, the, the difficulty of this problem? Obviously it's very uncomfortable, maybe painful, but how, how were they handling it? You know, uh, one big issue is the fact that when they have fistula, they are shunned, they, 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 they are out of the community, they are in a special um, place in the house because water, I mean, uh, yeah, fishes they, and, 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 urine and urine flow and, you know, they smell bad. Yes. So when they see a reporter with a camera 
I feel, I had a feeling that the, I was the only hope, hope the last they hope they had to give their message and also to, to make people be aware of what they were living there. So instead of fleeing from the camera, they came to me and openly talked to me. And you, were, there, you didn't feel like they were uncomfortable because you were a man, it didn't matter, they just wanted to share their Not stories. at all, not at all. They were very comfortable because they wanted, that was their part, their, the part they were playing in the fight against fistula. Now tell us about this doctor, Dr. Billy, who is uh, really very much involved and he has this ritual, uh, so to speak, uh, with the women dancing when they are here. What type of resources does he have access to and how is his effort reaching out to the people then? You know, Dr. Billy is a gynecologist, you know, he is not a professor specialized in surgical, you know. So the women are facing fistula, but the problem is that uh, they are in the fight between professors and gynecologists. So, but the gynecologist is the one who discovers the treasure, if you can call it like that, who sees the fistula. So one of the big ideas developing now is why not teach gynecologists how to treat the, fir the, the first grade fistula. So Dr. Billet is, an good, is a good example of, of uh, the new trend, the treatment. He knew that the women f f saw, her, saw him as, you know, uh, the solution to, to their problem. So when he t treats them, he organizes that fashion show and that dance and singing because that is the, the last step towards a real reintegration in the society. And he's a wonderful person. And what I, disco what I discovered was that you don't very often need equipment, sophisticated equipment. You need to understand culturally. You need to use what you have learned, I mean, technically, and mix it to the local culture to get to get good results. That's what, what he did. Very interesting really. report, uh, yeah. Khalil. Thank, thank you, you so much for this. My pleasure. We look forward to, to more reports from you. Thank you. All right. And uh, for more information on any of today's health stories, be sure to visit our website, africahealthnetwork.com. Back to you, Dimiake. Well, thank you so much, Lenore and Halil. And um, for our viewers, Lenore Madu joins us every Tuesday and Thursday, always with the latest health news in Africa right here on In Focus.